need zero pence here. Um, early this morning, I received a parcel. I've only just been able to open it. A bit of TLC, and this will look absolutely fantastic when I'm finished with it. Hopefully, I shall remove these scales, check these pins out, but I think it's going to have to be brass pins for this. Yes, and the yeah, edge has got to be completely reset. It's been mullered. It's definitely been used and abused, and it stood up to every bit of it, so I don't blame the man for wanting to restore it back to its former glory. So, I will. Now, just sometimes, when you're restoring stuff, you come across something that's quite unusual, and uh, I have... I've removed the scales from this knife and I've found that they're two different types of material. Now that doesn't really matter unless the material, or the wood in this case, is not compatible with steel. And there are some woods out there, oak is one of them. Uh, it can turn the blade black and it can start to eat into it. Now this is the side where the this looks like I don't know a beach or something I think and uh, that's been up against this side and you can see it's it's just normal bit of water regression in there and that but on the other side. I've had to treat this as well with the thing it started to eat away, especially around the holes where the pins were. It really, really did start to eat them away. Um, but that doesn't matter. That's not, that's not a problem. I can handle that. <laughs> but I'll show you that there was a chemical reaction. Look at the back side of that wood where it's been reacting with the, the steel for all them years. It looks like it's been burnt, but it isn't. It's, it's uh, horrible. <laughs> That's where it's been reacting. And if that had been left on there a few more years, the full tang of this knife would have fallen to bits. But still plenty of steel there, no problem. Um, I've done a cl clean on the blade and I've killed all the all the corrosion. And here is what the blade looks like now. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't do all... I... This is character. There are, there are uh, scratches and digs and divots on it. I've had to straighten the the grind edge because it had great big chunks out of it but I've I've, uh, I've done it subtly I haven't started eating into it or anything like that and you can see that how straight the line is on that it goes right to the point and the secondary cutting edge had been whacked about a bit but I've done that the spine is clean and rounded again. And it goes to a tapered tank and the edge. And both sides have been finished by hand. Um, some people have come down to the forge and seen them. Uh, restore a knife with the machines but this kind of knife you you can't do that there's so many and you've got to go the right way with this because it's a co kind of combat knife it's been the grain runs the full length of the blade because of the grinds and uh, I've, I've not gone jollying into it or anything like that but I've redone the tip because that was um, that was mullered <laughs> and it's back it's coming back from the brink but 
when you restore a knife, you, you don't go take all the steel off and all the scratches out and things like that, because their character, their memories. The guy that owns this knife, he's he's got the memories. And look at that, and they go, oh yeah, I remember how I done that. So you don't want to remove them, but you do want to get out the nasties, which I have, I think, to a point. So there it is. There's your knife, Mike. Um, got to this far now. It's the handle. I've got some nice material picked out for this handle. It won't. And also, when um, you paint pin a handle, you don't put any glue there. You use the pins to hold it in place. Well, it's better to actually put a, an adhesive on there and put pins in and paint the pins. <laughs> So you get belt and braces then and also if that had been done if the pins and the resin had been put on this this knife and pain had been done uh, it wouldn't have been eating into it because uh, the epoxy resin stops water regression you don't get a chemical reaction so yeah it's what can happen to a knife through no fault of the owner he doesn't even know what's going on yeah perfectly good knife can end up falling to bits in your hands as you can see i've straightened the grind there straightened the spine and took some of the really really bad grinding out there are some marks in there but i i can't do that because they go nearly into the other side of the blade so you do that, you're going to end up with a warp and a not very nice looking straight line. Where is the S? And the next step is a handle. And I have some lovely material. There's a handle for that. Lovely wood handle for that. That uh, my friend Adrian Etheridge sent me. So I will use that because it is gorgeous. And um, hopefully send this knife back to you looking a hundred times better than it did when I got it I think you'll agree it's looking a lot better even now see what pens thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted as it progresses along.